Hi, this is Damon Tennon from www.mygedlive.com. Coming to you tonight, just finished our uh, live May 2003 GED math class. Uh, many of you have taken the GED test and have passed every section with the exception of the math test. And so I'm offering classes for the month of May, for the month of June, and the month of July, and then probably on throughout the rest of the year, specifically preparing you to pass the GED math test. The way this class works is every week you get an email with videos and worksheets and practice test questions. You prepare for that. Every Thursday night, we come together as a live group. We talk via the headphones, it's all online, and uh, you ask your questions, we work through problems, uh, and we're getting it done. Remember, this test is going to change in 2014. And so if you've taken this test and this is the only thing standing in your way, here is a way to get you over that hump. I just want to share a quick question with you that we did tonight just as a way to encourage you uh, to, to take advantage of the resource that's here. The question was, Amanda is responsible for soft drink sales in the cafeteria. Accordingly, she produces a seasonal report of sales activity. By what percent did Coke sales increase between spring and summer? And then there was a chart, a graph uh, that went along with this problem. I'll just show you right there. Uh, if you're interested in this question, you can... Uh, send me a YouTube message and I'll be more than happy to uh, email it out to you but anyway uh, suffice it to say this is the question that we're using we talked about what the question was the question was all about the percent of coke sales increase between spring and summer and then, the, and then we said we're going to state our path and what that simply means is how do I get this information to get back to the question this is where people get stuck this is why people get that 370 this is why people get that 380 that 390 even that frustrating 400 and don't grab that 410 it's because they do not have this type of method which I train you to do with the get your GED now test preparation series so anyway then we stated our path and we said well the spring sales were 2650 and we said the summer sales were 4950 and then we talked about the percent formula that helps you to discover percent increase or decrease and so that formula is the difference of the original number and the new number the difference is a subtraction word divided by the original number gives you percent increase or decrease so then we took our new number 4950 and we subtracted it from our original number 2650 and we divided that by our original number and we got 2300 over 2650 okay and so we reduced that down to 4650 thirds I'm not going to spend any time there uh, and then we divided 46 by 43 and we got 0.867 we rounded that up to our answer here 87%. So the answer to the question was that there was an 87% increase in Coke sales between the spring and summer seasons. Again, this is why people are getting stuck. They need this. If you are stuck, you need this. And um, so I'm, I'm putting this out here. Uh, I'm, I'm so emphatic about it because I've helped so many people cross this hurdle yet I get so many questions uh, this week my phone was buzzing off the hook I talked to probably over 35 to 40 people this week asking questions about this thing but the thing is you have to take the next step you gotta sign up for this class you gotta get in here you gotta get this kinda help so you can break these questions down and you don't get stuck on them see a lot of times what happens is people get on that test that clock is ticking that pressures on you and you start working on the test and maybe the first thing you see on your calculator and if it matches the question or one of the multiple choice responses on the page you select it and keep on moving see we don't do that with this process we have a process by where we approach every word problem or picture problem or graph problem like I've showed you uh, uh, earlier um, this is how people are passing the GED test it's just how it's happening okay if you're sitting out there and you it, 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 if you've been thinking about or preparing about or talking about passing the GED for more than two months 
then you really got to say, you know, it's time to get serious. Because if in two months you haven't done it, then that means you need to get somewhere where you can get some help to help you overcome this obstacle. Again, this is Damon Tennant from www.mygedlive.com and the Get Your GED Now Test Preparation Series, reminding you that we're almost six months down to the wire of the 2002 version of the GED test. The test is going to change in 2014. It will be more difficult. The test is going to be about 50 to 60 percent algebra and we're going to prepare you for that too. But if I don't need to prepare you for that right now, then get in now while you can. Again, www.mygedlive.com.